Holland, here we come. The Netherlands. The Netherlands. The Netherlands. Honestly, I don't think last night could have gone any better. Eh? Straight after the gig, I was just buzzing. I felt like I could just go and like hug everyone in the audience and give them all a fucking kiss, eh? There were so many people and they were all smiling, which made me smile and they were all having a good time. And if you have a look at the photo, man. Yeah, yeah man, it, it's an amazing feeling to have people, you know, enjoy what you did up there so much that, you know, they'll they'll scream and, you know, make a huge ruckus for like, you know, a good five minutes after you've even walked off stage because they, they're just wanting more. The reviews are coming out and several people, both at Metal Days and at Varken, have reviewed their show saying it was the best show of the entire festival which is a pretty bold claim. Would all of us suggest you take that logo and putting it just boom there? We've actually had to order a whole lot more merch. Um, we've seriously underestimated how much merch the Europeans like um, because, yeah, they, they buy it like crazy. That's what we're living on, you know, income from T-shirts and CDs. It hasn't been glamorous. We're really lucky tonight to be able to actually stay in a house or mm. probably the first time in nearly a month. We were actually at the home of uh, Yetta's cousin just to regather, resort, restring guitars ready for the next lot of festivals. Yeah, it's the calm before the storm. Bro, to move your face. He went and bumped it. I was a little bit worried about all being together on tour, but actually having other people with us as well is yep. being quite good for the group dynamic. We can have an argument or have a bit of a scrap or whatever and then come back the next day and give each other hugs, you know. I always think if you want to sort out family shit, go camping. We have negotiated a new place yeah, know, to park. Let's go and see it first. I was doing it for Ken. Thought you were talking to me. I'm sorry. So what's yeah. That the three of us just know how each other thinks. You know, we've all known each other for so long now. I think we're kind of almost becoming the same person, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Carolling with mum and dad has kind of become quite normal for us. Like, it's not a huge difference, you know, to what we were doing back in New Zealand. Yeah, it kind of has to be like that because, you know, we're so young. But, like, in future, I don't think it's always going to be like that, you know, because mum and dad, you know, they, they probably just want to relax. It's, yeah, it's been pretty tiring. Um, the opportunities to actually lie down and sleep um, are not all that often. I actually suffer from MS, so described it to the boys as I'm like a smartphone with a battery that's not very good, so the phone still works really well, but it's got to be on the charger quite a lot. Neil, or Dad, he's been a huge part in kind of getting us to where we are at this point. He's an amazing creative force, and it's slowed him down quite a lot. But he's very determined and he won't give in to it. My ears still work, so that's, uh, that's a bonus. Since I do front of house sound for the band, I can still hear and if I have my glasses on, I can still see. He doesn't really know how quickly the symptoms will advance. So I guess while he still can, he wants to do what he can. It's actually a little less stressful because we've got a larger team with us this time. You know, we've got Stain, we've got... Seth, you know, so we're, we're able to make things work much easier, which is meant. To have a team that knows the band, it majorly enhances their performance. So it's been really good having Stain in our team because Neil and Stain have very similar kind of opinions and values. So going forward, I think that will be helpful when the boys start touring independently. Month by month or year by year, I'm slowly becoming more numb and more paralysed, so um, eventually I know I won't be able to walk. 
But I mean, while I can walk and while I can do what I'm doing, I will do as much as I can to support my sons.